life without children is, is vapious and it's inane and it's pointless. And you may sit here and think that your career matters, but the truth is that your job will fire you out of whim and don't give us right. don't give a solitary shit. And when you're 52 and you're past it with no grandchildren in a house by yourself and all your friends have grandchildren in this beautiful life and you're sitting there by yourself, do you think the fact that you can afford a few extra Gucci bags is going to genuinely make you feel happy? I was at my grandmother's 93rd birthday. I looked there. My grandmother had nine children because there was my father and, and eight more. They all had a bunch of kids, blah, blah, blah. I stood there and I looked at my 93-year-old grandmother and there was a room, a whole room full with maybe 70 people that came from that one woman. Isn't that remarkable? Yeah. That nobody cared about her career. Nobody asked what job she did. Nobody asked how many times she went to the club. Nobody asked if she had time to go to festivals. No, you had 70 sentient beings, including myself, full of life from one woman who dedicated herself to being a mother and, 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 a, good, and a good wife. That is beautiful. And if you sit here and genuinely think that you're gonna work your ass off through your fertile years and by the age of 54, you're not gonna be suicidal alone with a cat, then you're dumb. You are dumb. You are dumb. Perfect plug here. Dumb, 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 dumb. Invest in Chewy. Bring the asteroid. All these women are sitting here saying, oh no, I don't wanna listen to a man. I don't want kids. I just wanna walk in the city and drink martinis and go on a beach. And what kind of life is that? That's like the worst life. That's not even real. I, that's weird. That's I never said that. Real. I never so said I didn't want Oh, now they didn't say it. Everyone. No, I, I said really I wanted to be just going to Pull it back. Pull it back. You can pull it back. The happiest really women on kids. earth have children and a man who's paying the bills and their mothers. That's the weird. happiest people on earth. I guarantee it. Your, your mothers, true. ask your own mother, do you yeah. regret having me? Literally. She's going to say, of course not. not. You're the nope. best thing that ever happened to me. So now you're going to sit here and you're going to end your own I'm bloodline? Gonna, yeah. All your ancestors were out there surrounded by saber-toothed <laughs> tigers <laughs> trying to survive on the streets out there in caveman days just to get to the final end where we have all the medical care <laughs> and you can live in a nice warm house for your selfish ass to say, no, I don't want kids. I'm too busy in the strip club or going to... Oh, Mallorca no. to have a <laughs> to have a pina colada on the beach. It's absolutely insulting to your entire bloodline. Everything everyone above you has ever done and struggled for. All the times your grandparents went to work when they didn't feel like it, just for you to exist, for your selfish ass to say no. Me and my passions and my dreams and my sh drawings and my Instagram page <laughs> is worth more than ever having children. You're a selfish fuck. That you should all have kids. <laughs> okay. Uh, by the way, big shout out to Fresh and Fit. That's a clip from their podcast featuring Andrew Tate. Check them out on YouTube, Fresh and Fit. Um, your guys' reaction to that, Hensley. Call me selfish, but my passions and my dreams do come before children. I think it's also completely invalid. When you're old, you're not going to be with your kids. Your kids are not by your side. When you're, old, when you're 90, they're not by your side every day. They're gone. They have their own family. So to be like, oh, I need to produce kids. I need to do this. I need to have a big ass family. You're going to be alone either way. Why not be happy in the no, fact that you had a successful true. career You're not gonna be alone. and you put yourself <laughs> up there instead of like focusing on like, oh, I need a perfect family. No, Who do you think is going to be happier? A woman who's retired with zero descendants or a woman with 70 descendants? I think it definitely depends. Not every woman wants her, a child. Her grandchildren love her. They love spending time around her. She gets, hold person. on, hold on, hold on. She gets to help raise her, her, her kids' kids. She gets to spend time around them all the time. That's the light of these women's worlds. Obviously, Those she's going to be women. happier. Yeah, but it's not always the case that these, pe they, these grandchildren and their kids are around them all the time. Sometimes they don't want anything to do with them. Exactly. So regardless if they have like 70... So are you kids. telling me you're the kind of woman that wouldn't want? No, anything I'm not to saying that. I'm just saying that there are. There's not many women, there. but let's. That's not <laughs> many women. So you're dismissing the fact that there is women. That's out there fine, that but they can they can have those views. But my the issue is that we want to make it clear that that's what does bring happiness, and I think a lot of young girls don't understand that later on it's really an important thing. I think a really important thing is that Hen Hensley has been bringing this up. Like we are changing as a society. Yes, you're saying that oh, girls now like we think that we can be independent, and then. 30 years down the line, we're the not change be can happy. be in a bad direction exactly. too. Yeah, is that exactly. change a good thing? Exactly. So. We are already so overpopulated. Like economically, children are not great. That's yeah. such a lie. Do you not? That's do such you, a lie. The UCSB housing <laughs> example is like a great example. <laughs> there are so example. many 
so many Stop kids reading. without housing at UCSB you that should, need should it. you drop out of you should drop out of UCSB then to make room for the stupid people uh, just other. not having kids <laughs> for, maybe, for maybe UCSB should just stop enrolling so many people then and yeah, make UCSB's the admission standards the higher that's definitely true but that's it's also like do. there's so many people who are on this earth w- what's your what's your point the point is that we don't need more people and stupid people just keep having kids we we definitely stupid do need people. to continue yes. producing who, people. Who are those stupid people? Mm, I'm, I cannot think of a few. Like? Like you. Wow. wow. Why, why do you say why, that? Why is he stupid? Yeah. What why I'm is saying, he stupid? What I'm getting down to is basically like Yo, you by, guys are by going the way, off yeah, this yeah, very let's, traditional. Let's keep, it, let's keep it respectful. Yeah. This, is, this that, is not a he's dumb. Been very respectful this is not a dumb man. Well, no, that's, okay, that's not Chase. respectful. No, but hold on. This is not a dumb man. That's a complete ad hominem straw man attack. Let's not let's not resort to like Chase said ad hominem attacks. <laughs> just if, just if, because if you disagree with him, attack his argument. Yeah, just because he I, disagrees with you doesn't make him stupid. Will you let me? Or are you going to keep talking over us like you've been doing this whole podcast though? Just go ahead. I have not been talking over. But go ahead. Okay. What I'm saying is, you have very traditional values, and we are progressive women, and we believe in our dreams and our passions and our moral. And we also know that that we can't do that while we're having kids and while we're under a man's thumb. So yeah, we're growing our own different way. And you're saying that, yeah, we should have kids and have 70 more people and keep overpopulating the world, which is already like crumbling and not our economy and everything is not being able to keep up with us. Right. But the, no, the, the, the girls that are having kids, there's a lot of girls at UCSB, right, that would have kids from just having a one night stand. Mm-hmm. That's pretty. I mean, it's not super common, but that's when it happens. What's your question? Th- that's not a question. It's just. Don't you think you should look at that and say, like you said, stupid people. I don't think I'm the stupid person here in the situation. I think the stupid people are the ones that are going out and having these one night stands and getting pregnant. So you're saying that like the only people who should be having kids are people in the nuclear family where the woman is submissive. I didn't say that. But I do. I do think that in a family, that's when you should have kids. Okay. Why, Why would you have kids? Like, obviously, you don't need to be married to have kids, but what why would if, you have kids with some family random person? family isn't healthy, though? I feel like maybe you've had some really good examples in your life where, like, you can look at, like, an example of your family and say, like, yeah, this is how I grew up. This is what yeah. I believe. But there's plenty of people who are getting together and in families are in unhappy, and that's going to reflect on their children, and that's going to just continue a family and generational line that I think lots of people should be broken, but they keep having kids because that's the only thing they know. Think about how many single moms there are out there. Do you think that raising kids as a single mom is a good thing for the son or daughter? I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. And you can be a single but mom it is that a comes bad thing. from a nuclear family. Yeah, that's true. But you, you, know, you know what a lot of these unfelt, unhealthy families have going on? What? The women are feminists and they don't like submitting to the men. <laughs> that's right, Chase. <laughs> This causes an insane amount of unhappiness in families. So women need to be submissive to men in order to have a happy life and happy children. I think I think men, and this is what we've communicated. This is what we've communicated. This is what we've communicated on previous podcasts. I think men need to earn submission from their wives, learn how to take care of their wives, learn how to provide for their families, learn how to effectively lead their women. I think when men do this, where do they learn that skills? College. Hold on. Definitely not college. Hold on. Hold on. I think when men effectively do this, it creates very happy and healthy family dynamics. The healthiest families that I've seen where the husband and wife have a happy and healthy marriage. They're regularly having sex. Neither of them resent one another. They raise healthy kids with solid values. These families, they have a traditional masculine feminine dynamic going on. I came from a family. My mom did not want to submit to my dad it created an insane amount of tension in the household. And there were so many moments in time where my dad needed to assert frame and lead my mother, and he didn't, and it created crazy amounts of tension. What situations were those? I'm not sure how personal I want to get on a a podcast like this, talking about my parents' marriage, but I will say there were times when my mom was was physically ill she was dealing with illness she would be emotionally spiraling out of control when it came to things that my dad were was doing in the marriage that she didn't like uh things that the neighbors were doing 
things that were happening with their mortgage, all sorts of different stuff. She would, she would make poor financial decisions all the time. My dad would try and convince her to not do them. She would do them anyways, and it would bite us in the ass down the line. My parents had to foreclose on a home and we lost a lot of what we had because of my mother's poor financial decisions. And my dad tried telling her, don't do this. And she said, no, she didn't want to submit to his leadership. His leadership would have saved us. And she caused us a world of hurt as a result. And this is why that traditional dynamic can work. I'm not saying that like, look, like, like one of the reasons why women don't want to submit to men is because men are unworthy of leading women at times. Like there's a lot of shitty guys out there who don't know how to take care of their woman. They don't know how to take care of their family effectively. And in those instances, women don't want to submit. And it makes sense why. 